This is a quick demo of the latest version of Polar. Actually, this is version 1011, uh, but 1012 is going to be the version that has this feature. And uh, essentially what happened was that in the past, in order to use Anki Sync with Polar, you had to uh, sync each document individually. That was kind of a pain because you had to go in and, you know, while you're using the document, make sure you know which documents you're synch synchronizing and then you don't know if you missed a document and if you've archived them, you know, you have to go in and select them and then figure out which ones you resync. I actually added this feature uh, to track the number of annotations um, so that I could remember that and I realized that this is just kind of annoying. And so what I did was I refactored it so that way you can just synchronize them all from the document repository. It was a little bit more work, but it was worth it, I think. And I'm trying to make Anki Sync um, more usable from within Polar. So in order to use the new Anki Sync, it's really, uh, really pretty easy. So this is actually a new Anki profile. There's no, um, there's no cards in it. There's no flashcards in it. It's completely empty. And so when you're in the document repository, you just go up to Tools and Sync Flashcards to Anki. And then down here at the bottom, it actually is uh, working on syncing the cards. And you can see up here in um, the Anki window that now there's a bunch of decks, uh, a deck per card. And the sync completed. Uh, you can see it uh, synch synchronized completely. It actually had a few failures, but that's actually unrelated. I have some corrupt flashcards in an older schema version um, that shouldn't impact you, but it does impact me. So. Um, those didn't get synced, but everything else got synchronized, also including media got synchronized too. So if you take any screenshots and um, if you take a screenshot and you put it inside of a flashcard, a screenshot or any raw HTML, it'll also get synced perfectly fine to, to Anki. Um, and then we can go over uh, into the Anki deck. The cards, uh, the flashcards that you sync to Anki inherit the tags from the, from the document. So... Um, you know, this is one right up here that has a couple flashcards in it, so it's tagged JavaScript. So I can just go up here, hit enter, um, and I can do tag colon JavaScript, and there's two, and you can see that is uh, it is one of them was a test, but um, you can actually see that it is uh, using them just fine. So this is the test, and this is the answer. Um, we also uh, uh, keep all the the um, uh, try to preserve some Anki or excuse me, polar specific fields into the tags so you can use those if you'd like. I'm also going to be working on extending these basic fields. So right now there's front and back. Um, I want to create new um, note templates so that way polar can actually bring in more fields. So we could have uh, the URL of the document, um, the URL into polar, um, you know, the context of the actual thing. So if you uh, go into Polar and there's this, you know, you've attached a flashcard to a highlight. I want this context to be in here in a context field. So that way when you're mobile and you're using it, you can see the context and see that on the hint on the back um, and some various other things. Because, uh, you know, a flashcard that's kind of headless and disconnected from the original source material is not as valuable. Um, the downside is that Anki Connect doesn't actually support that yet. So um, would love some feedback from you uh, Anki, uh, powerful Anki users, Anki power users. <laughs> uh, if uh, Polar doesn't cut it for you and you're having some challenges, please give us feedback because we're trying to make it really smooth. I actually use Anki uh, and Polar together, so I'm constantly improving it. Um, and we're making a lot of progress. I mean, Polar is now sort of my main document reader. So it has been for a few months, but um, it's really coming along. Um, ever since we did the release, we've got about three or 400 really passionate daily users that are really hammering the, the product. We have about 2,000 weekly users that are using uh, Polar at least once a week. Um, so, you know, if you haven't played with it, please uh, play with it and give us feedback. Thanks a lot.